Welcome to ProjeCAD 3D Basics. This is Introduction to 3D. To find links to any downloadable resources available for this video, make sure to check the description box below. For this video, I'll be using a new blank drawing, which I already have open. In this module, in order to access the 3D tools in the ribbon, I'll need to change the workspace to Ribbon Full. I'll click on the 3D Tools tab to expose the panels containing our 3D tools. If you have your tool palette available, you can also access many of the tools from its 3D Tools palette tab. There are various types of 3D models that you can create in ProjectCAD. The simplest is the 3D face which is made of planes or surfaces. You can also create a 3D mesh, which consists of polygons and is defined by vertices. You'll notice that the mesh tool in the mesh panel expands into various creation options. There are also tools to create 3D mesh geometry, such as boxes, cylinders, or spheres. However, the most common type of 3D objects in ProjectCAD are called 3D solids and will be the focus of our work in this introductory video. You can find them in the first panel of the 3D Tools tab. Expand the first icon to see all of the types of solids you can create. Before we get started creating some of these solids, we'll need to become familiar with different ways to view our solid model in 3D. I'll start with the bracketed words in the upper left-hand corner of our drawing editor. These are called the viewport tools. I'll click on the left side that reads top. The menu will expand to display a section of orthographic projections such as left, right, and front. There are also two sections where you can choose an isometric projection, one from above and another from below. At the bottom, you can toggle between a parallel or a perspective projection. To demonstrate, I'll click on Southwest Isometric. Notice that the UCS icon spins into place, the cursor changes into its 3D form, and even the view cube in the upper right is spun into the proper view plane. To continue, I'll go back to the top view. Since I brought up the view cube, let's go there next, and then we'll return to the right side of the viewport controls. Normally displayed in its compact manner, it becomes fully visible and functional when you roll over it with your cursor. Outside of the cube itself, there are some icons. One is a house, and another is a down arrow. You can set various settings with them, including designating the current view as your home view, which you can return to at any time by clicking on the house. The icon at the bottom that reads WCS allows quick access to any custom user coordinate systems you may have, or the orthographic projections as we saw in the viewport tools. The two curved arrows will rotate your view 90 degrees from the current Z axis. And finally, in the middle, the cube has arrows around the edges which provide quick access to the back, front, and sides. When you click on the main tile of each side, you'll go right to that view. Finally, each corner of the cube is a shortcut to view your model in the corresponding isometric projection. I'll click on the southwest isometric corner to duplicate what we saw using the viewport controls. I'm going to stay in this isometric view to show you the next viewing tool, but to see it best, I'll need some kind of 3D object, so I'll quickly add a box and we'll return to learn about it later. Right next to the 3D Tools tab in the ribbon is the View tab. Within it is the Navigate 3D panel, which contains your orbiting tools. It's good to know about the options you have, but there's an easier way to access orbit that most people use. I'll hold down the shift key on my keyboard and press down on the scroll wheel on my mouse. I'm now in free orbit mode. Just move your mouse around to view the model. When you're satisfied with the view, release both buttons. Let's go back to the right side of the viewport tools. So far, we've viewed our box in 2D wireframe. When you click on the right side, you'll get a menu of other visual styles that are included with ProjectCAD's 3D environment. You can choose from conceptual, hidden, realistic, or regular wireframe. Changing the visual style of your model 
can often help you better visualize it as you work. Finally, you may find that you have a need to work on a plane of your object that is not aligned with the UCS. You can define your own view with the tools found in both the View and 3D Tools tab. From the View tab, I'll click on the UCS icon and choose Three Point. I want to work on the plane on the right side of our box. Per my prompts, I'll define a new origin, the X direction, and the Y direction. The Z direction is calculated. The new UCS will display at the new origin point. Now, I can easily draw diagonal lines on the face of the box I defined. To return to the WCS, I can click that icon in the ribbon or select World from the UCS box just below the view cube. You can find out more information, download their 30-day free trial, or purchase your own ProjectCAD license at www.projectcad.com.